good morning. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, there is the little PCB2222 Joule Thief with its LED shining brightly. It's right now running on a one and a half volt button cell that's pretty depleted. Uh, and uh, I'm monitoring the output voltage from the points that ordinarily are used. Um, and I'm displaying that on the top trace, trace 1, of the uh, TEC 2213A oscilloscope. Okay, and uh, let's see. Oh, you can see the battery running down. See how the frequency is changing? But that's where the baseline is. Ignore this over here. Okay, so, uh, and on channel 2, I've got this, uh, this photovoltaic cell ignore all that. This photovoltaic cell just directly into the probe. So we'll put that over the LED and uh, try to get a trace. Uh, excuse me while I change the sensitivity here. Okay. So if I put the photovoltaic over the LED then I should be able to see the pulsations that indicate the LED turning on and off. And sure enough, there they are. Okay. So you can see that there's a little spike of brightness and then the LED decreases in output until the next pulse starts. Okay. So that's the basic wave shape, but the photovoltaic isn't really um, strong enough to really put out a lot of light output. So what I've done is I've taken a, a small photo transistor here, and I've arranged it so that I can insert it so that it's looking at the LED. And then I can take the scope probe and I can hook it across the, the photo transistor. You try this with one hand, it's not easy. So there now we've got the signal from the phototransistor and the signal from the output voltage of the of the jewel thief there. So the phototransistor shows that decreasing light output during the pulse. But at least what we've done is we've confirmed that the light output begins at the start of the pulse that shows on the output trace of the of the uh, jewel thief board. Okay. Now this bottom trace here is somewhat dependent on the voltage that I'm supplying to the phototransistor. If I turn up that voltage or turn it down, you can see that that voltage changes. All right. But I'm using enough voltage to drive the transistor fully on at the brightest point of the light signal. Let me get a little bit more amplitude on those traces there. Okay. So we see the light pulse ramping up rapidly and then coming down gradually during the time that the LED is on. So effectively the LED turns off at the end of that decreasing slope at the top of the output voltage trace. Okay, so output voltage, voltage detected by, or rather the light detected by the phototransistor looking at the, <laughs> looking at the board which has now fallen down, down there. Alright, so that's measurement of the light output and the synchrony between the light output and the actual voltage output pulses uh, that we're looking at. Thank you for watching. 
Okay, this is part two. Uh, so what I've got now is I've got the phototransistor output uh, shown on trace two. So this is this reflects the actual light coming out of the LED on the board. And this then is the battery trace, uh, the input battery voltage measured at the normal ordinary points that uh, uh, we have been using for measuring this board. So let's see, there's the baseline down there. There's it with it on, and we're looking at that at uh, 5 volts per division. Is that right? such a high voltage on that. Ah, we weren't looking at it at 5 volts per division. Sorry, I had the probe attenuation switch switched. Okay. Now we're looking at it at half a volt per division. Okay, so that's more like it. So we're seeing slightly under 1 volt. That's a depleted button cell battery in there okay so at half a volt per division on the battery trace we're seeing those same dips and the dips occur at the time when the LED is just turning on okay so there we have those valleys in the battery voltage the baselines down here half a volt per division there's the valley the valley is at the it starts before the LED turns on, but let me let me move that trace down. But the actual maximum dip in that valley is right at the beginning of when the LED turns on. Okay, move that trace back up to where it belongs. All right, so that's the time relationship between the actual light output and the dips in the input battery voltage to the 2N2222 Joule Thief as measured by a phototransistor actually looking at the light output of the LED. Thank you for